Hello again, Privileged Ones, and YouTube, and the Internet, and welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today's episode is probably the most influential, crucial, and important video I've ever uploaded to my channel, and that's because it influences all of you guys. You're on the Internet right now watching this video. It definitely changes the game for every single one of you if we don't do something about it. Net neutrality. Our net neutrality is being sacrificed right now, and... Large companies like Comcast and Verizon are trying to control it. But what is net neutrality? Net neutrality is the principle that the internet providers like Comcast and Verizon, which are large companies by the way, should not be allowed to control what we see or do online. Back in 2015, startups, internet freedom groups, and 3.7 million commenters won strong rules net neutrality rules for the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC. The rules prohibited these internet providers from blocking, throttling, and paid prioritization, or quote-unquote fast lanes, for sites that pay, and slow lanes for everyone else. Imagine having a slowed down internet to where you can't watch YouTube videos because you pay less for your internet v provider. Or you don't pay money to Comcast or Verizon. Well, they are trying to do this. There's three companies in particular that are really trying to fight for this. Comcast, Verizon, AT&T want to end net neutrality so they can charge extra fees to control what you see and do online. On July 12th, today, we take the first step to stop them. This is a battle for the internet's future, by the way, and for all of our futures. So please, before you do anything else, I want you to go to this site and send a letter to the FCC and Congress now. Anyone in the world can do this. It is based on your location and for the governments around your area to fight for net neutrality. If we don't fight for net neutrality, we won't be able to control what we see in the future. And that's a problem. I want to be able to go to Google. I want to be able to go to YouTube. I want to even be able to just go to my favorite website and look up anything that I want. Bing, Yahoo, all of this could be controlled. And everything you would have to pay extra for due to these large-scale companies like Comcast, Verizon, and AT&T. So the site that I want you to go to is www.battleforthenet.com. I'll have it linked in the description of this video, but it's basically this website. What you're going to see immediately is, this is a battle for the future of the internet. And it says what I just said. Comcast, Verizon, and AT&T want to end net neutrality so they can charge extra fees to control what we see and do online. On July 12th, we take the first step to stop them. This is a battle for the Internet's future. Before you do anything else, send a letter to the FCC and Congress now. And all you have to do is put your name in. Your full name, by the way, will help more than just a first name. Put an email in and make sure it's an email that the Congress can contact you from. Put your address in and your zip. Remember, this is going to the government. No one else will see this. Put your phone number in to volunteer. And then you will have this letter to send them. And it will read, The FCC's open internet rules, net neutrality rules, are extremely important to me. I urge you to protect them. I don't want ISPs to have the power to block websites, slow them down, give some sites an advantage over others, or split the internet into fast lanes for companies that pay and slow lanes for the rest. Now is not the time to let giant ISPs censor what we see and do online. Censorship by ISPs is a serious problem. Comcast has throttled Netflix, AT&T, blocked FaceTime, Time Warner Cable, throttled the popular game League of Legends, and Verizon admitted it will introduce fast lanes for sites that pay and slow lanes for everyone else if the FCC lifts the rules. This hurts consumers and businesses and large and small. Courts have made clear that if the FCC ends Title II classifications, the FCC must let ISPs offer fast lanes to websites for a fee. Chairman Pai has made clear that he intends to do exactly this. But if some companies can pay our ISPs to have their content load faster, 
startups and small businesses that can't pay those fees won't be able to compete. You will kill the open market that has been enabled millions of small businesses and created the five most valuable companies in America just to future enrich a few much less valuable cable giants famous for sky high prices and at small customer service. Internet providers will be able to impose a private tax on every sector of the American economy. Moreover, under Chairman Pai's plan, ISPs will be able to make it more difficult to access political speech that they don't like. They'll be able to charge fees for websites delivery that would make it harder for blogs, nonprofits, artists, and others who can't pay up to have their voices heard. I'm sending this to the FCC's open proceeding, but I worry that Chairman Pai, a former Verizon lawyer, has made his plans and will ignore me and millions of other Americans. So I'm also sending this to my members of Congress. Please, publicly support the FCC's existing net neutrality rules based on Title II and denounce Chairman Pai's plan to do whatever you can to dissuade him. Thank you. That is a very important letter. And it's filled with a lot of information about the laws right now implemented and how that can change when Chairman Pai's plan goes into action. If we get enough people behind this, then Congress won't be able to pass it and we'll still have the net neutrality rules implemented in the FCC. If we remove all these rules, that means that it could affect YouTube and it could affect many other sites that we enjoy. And for the small people that can't pay to have the increased internet speed, their sites might actually go under and we'll never be able to see them again. It's a very large problem. And yes, sites like YouTube will pay into this, but the problem is, is it also takes money away from the content creators. It takes money away from the people that create videos, and it's a huge deal. It's taking away from our internet freedom, and I want all of you to be able to fight for this. So if you want to fight for this and enter in right now, it simply takes a name, an email, an address, and a phone number, and sending it straight into a letter to the Congress and FCC. So please do that today. Check the link in the description, and thank you all so much for supporting our internet rules, and our laws, and our freedom. And as always, stay violent, be privileged.